Woodstock, Vermont is where I am convinced the word charming was coined. The village of Woodstock was given by New Hampshire in 1761 as a gift and it will be a gift to you when you visit there. Woodstock is a village. If you visit the red covered bridge, the Taftsville covered bridge, that is the, the village of Taftsville. It's still part of Woodstock. Viewing and photographing the old wooden red bridge, the Taftsville covered bridge, will give you about five or seven parking spots. If you can't find a little parking spot, like a spot, I mean like to pull off the road spot, because that's all there is. You can just go down a while and then turn around somewhere and come back and take a quick picture and then get back in your car. I recommend going from the Taxville Covered Bridge east on Highway 4 until you get to the Keechee Gorge Gifts store. It has a huge parking lot out front and you can enter the gorge from the behind the gifts store but you can also just walk on the little sidewalk 100 feet from the parking lot and be on the bridge on top of the Keechi Gorge. Queechi is how it looks like it's spelled, but I'm 99% sure it's pronounced Keechi. And then you can look from both sides of this bridge. If you're in a wheelchair or have a person in your family in a wheelchair, it is wheelchair friendly. It's like a six or seven minute drive, it's six miles from the Taftsville Covered Bridge. So we highly recommend going to do that. There is a Keechi Ski Club right near there, that gorge, so you're not in the middle of nowhere. You're, oh, I just used two negatives. You're not in the middle of nowhere. You're right there on a major road, highway, um, but it's very people and pedestrian friendly right there in the parking lot. Also on that side of the town is the Sugarbush cheese and maple farm and you can go in you park in the gravel dirt parking lot you can go into this little bitty shop that has three sections to it it's not very wheelchair friendly i mean it can be done but it is not very wheelchair friendly because it is so cramped in there but you're ushered right in by a really strict lady who says okay gather in and you you obey her you gather in and you get to sample like eight different cheeses that they have there for you to buy or you can order it online or have it shipped i don't recommend having it shipped from the shop there because it really seems like you're an inconvenience and they sometimes they have a big busload of tourists coming and they really don't have time and it's all done on paper, so it's very time consuming for them and you and all the people waiting to be helped. Uh, so order online. I chose four cheeses that I wanted. Oh, delicious. And they would not ship them until mid-November. And this was the end of September when we were there because they would not ship fresh cheese, even though it was all waxed in, they would not ship it to a warm location until mid-November. Then you also get to sample right then and there the four different grades, the new grades of maple syrup. And they show you what color each grade is and it, it goes from light to depth, the deep taste. And they're fabulous. You get a little plastic spoon and you get a little piece of paper like you would get um, playing putt-putt. And you get a check off which cheese she gives you. Like she'll say, number one is the jack cheese the mountain jack cheese number two is the blue cheese and then if you like that one you would circle it and put the number one by it and that way you would know which cheese you want to buy when you go into the shop same thing with the syrup which syrup flavor you liked the best but downtown woodstock in the shire of woodstock is where i wanted to stay and live for months we stayed at the shire woodstock which is right downtown and it's a five minute walk to the downtown little oval of Woodstock and think town square tightly cozied up together. It's not like a town square really. It's more of a stretched almost oval, but everything is within walking distance. It's our inn is an inn on the Atakichi River. So you have a table with wicker chairs from the back deck of your room to view it. And then the Shire also has a grassy area near the river if it's warm enough for you to hang out there. And then in front of each room, you have these precious little white 
rocking chairs to just relax or have your coffee or just to watch people watch down the little main road that leads into the square it's so sweet every room has these in front of their room almost every day you have the shire woodstock gardener who comes and waters all of those beautiful flowers the natural flowers and he loves his job he he also has these great tomatoes which we spied when we were looking at how pretty the flowers were and he said take some they're free so another plus of staying at the Shire Woodstock. My mom and I shared a king size bed that had six pillows on it and they were wonderful. Such a cozy bed. You feel like you're going into a room where you could stay for a week. You've got chairs, you've got a huge dresser, you have a little closet area. The only thing I would say is that the bathroom is really damp because there's not a vent fan for you to turn on after a shower so uh, there is a tiny little window uh, but that's my only complaint and the bathroom was very clean and cute and charming we loved our stay at the shire woodstock i would definitely stay there again you can also stay at the charleston house you can stay at the woodstocker my mother-in-law and father-in-law stayed there about 15 years ago and loved it it's also right down there at the oval you can even splurge and stay at the Woodstock Inn for a very high price, but the grounds are amazing. The flowers are beautiful, but you do not have a river view like you did at the Shire or Woodstock, in my opinion. And I think that is just a beautiful spot to look at the river and all the leaves that are gonna change right behind that little river. We walked to the Montvert Cafe, and in here we entered on National Coffee Day, didn't even know it, and they gave us 50 cents off of our delicious cup of coffee. They also have sandwiches that you can get for breakfast, for lunch, that you can have a drink near dinner time. They have a cozy downstairs as well as an upstairs. They are very supportive of their local friends and family because Woodstock is so walkable and such the center of town. There are a lot of locals who go there to the Montverde Cafe. I saw a local lady bringing her sliced bright red tomatoes and from her bag she was putting them on top of her little breakfast sandwich. So locals go there, that means it's good coffee and good food. Woodstock, Vermont is very pedestrian friendly. Tourism is their number one source of income, so they are very patient for us crossing their streets at wrong times, crossing the streets in the wrong areas. They're very patient and graceful Vermonteers. And parking on the street downtown is free until 10 a.m., so we recommend going to get breakfast at the Mountain Creamery. There are lots of places you can eat downtown, though, uh, down in the little square. But we ate at the Mountain Creamery. I had a maple sausage, cheddar, and apple omelet all mixed in. You can see how like naturally melted the cheese is. It looks homemade, like they got it from the Sugarbush Farm. It was delicious. And the toast that came with it, and I think the bread was homemade there. It was the most dense bread I've ever tasted, but it was definitely thin toast, but it was so dense. And they give you one of those silver little um, shot glass kind of things but that's silver a tin little cup they give you their strawberry jelly which I'm, I'm convinced they got from Sugarbush Farm strawberry jam jelly goodness and it just spreads as easily as butter that has sat out all day it is so smooth it's not too sweet um, oh it is such such good it almost tastes like strawberry syrup like really thick syrup so good and they have a little creamery right underneath them well not a creamery really but it is a, an ice cream shop we recommend driving to the mountain creamery parking for free and then hitting sugarbush farm and then going over to the Keechee gorge bridge for viewing i think that would take you up until lunchtime and i forgot to say about sugarbush farm when you are done shopping you can also walk around their grounds they have a little bitty short trail through their maple trees and you can see where some of the sap is being drawn and all the little tubing and piping all through the forest that's on their grounds and they also have a little chapel that has a cute little um like rocking horse little bear toy in the chapel so it's kid friendly it's not like super quiet and everything it's i think it's actually carpeted inside with indoor outdoor grass or whatever uh, lovely little place and then you would probably spend about an hour 
maybe more. If it's warm outside, you're going to just go out and sit on a bench and take in the views because the valley is right behind the Sugarbush Farm area, the little shop area. Beautiful. And through the little trail of the maple trees, you have little signs that give little facts and stuff like that. Don't miss that. It, you think it's just a farm, but it is, it's so cute and you can get a lot of different sized and uh, TSA approved sized liquid syrups to get on and as well as what you want to buy online. In the afternoon or evening, early evening, you may want to go and park around the square, the oval, and visit the Red Rooster, which is the restaurant inside the Woodstock Inn and then walk around all around the little oval. It's probably about seven big houses long. That's how long the oval would be. And go to the Woodstock Inn and eat or grab it and some appetizers at the Red Rooster and then walk around the little oval and then you'll hit the middle bridge, the middle covered bridge right there. It is right there on the off of the sidewalk on the oval and it even has like a footpath that's totally smooth on the other on the side of the bridge attached to it that you can walk through and take pictures of the beautiful Atikichi River and that's the one that goes behind our hotel the Shire Woodstock. Beautiful views. You can see people's backyards along that river and you can take pictures of the Adirondack chairs that are down by the river. Oh, so beautiful. Such beautiful scenery. Charming, I tell you. We also found a wonderful, cozy, quaint, charming, and fun restaurant for you to try. Make reservations. We were there on a Thursday night and she said we didn't need reservations that night So we and we were early enough. But this is a place where you would take someone that you just want to talk for hours. It's got this wooden like um, Yankee workshop vibe. When you walk in it feels like the floors, the wooden floors were just done. The walls were just done. The tables were just cut and sanded. The menu holder was a piece of wood. It's just beautiful, very rustic, but modern and farm to table-ish kind of restaurant. Very romantic, but also you could take your friend or your mom there. And I had the chicken schnitzel, which was about that thick. It tasted like fried chicken that you could just chew very easily. It was so soft and wonderful. I highly recommend it. And it was cooked like by one chef. Everything is made to order by this one chef back there. And she made that with a little crust. And then she also used um, the capers over this caper sauce, which had a lemony twang to it, but not too much. And over these garlic mashed potatoes with the side of sauteed zucchini. So good. My mom had salmon on top of this risotto creamy yumminess. Highly recommend this restaurant. They are very personable, gracious, warm. It's very warm when you walk in. You just get this um, personality of warmth and love and come as you are. Love it. Highly recommend it. We also wanted to eat at Soulfully Good Cafe, but they were closed at dinner time. And they have the wrought iron little bitty table and chairs out front with a white picket fence around it. Um, and it's called Soulfully Good Cafe love their menu options. They are only open for breakfast and lunch, so check that. They will be one place you would want to try, I believe, because everything's right there in downtown Woodstock. I hope these tips have helped you figure out what charming things you want to do in this town of Woodstock, Vermont. Pop over again soon.